Hello guys and girls, today we're playing Sakura Shrine Girls by the Sekai Project. So, shall we get started? Hey Toru! Time to wake up now. Oh, I should probably close this door. XD. You're missing out on another beautiful day. Alright, alright. I'm awake, old man. Oh, it's a grand P. Oh, <laughs> come on, Toru. We both know that I'm not that old. That's because you stopped counting after you had your twenty-first birthday. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> yep, I'm still twenty-one years old. Uh, I don't know how to think that. Anyway, you had better get ready to go. Your training starts today and we have a lot of work to do. But yeah, no problem. Like, that's going to do anything for me? I'll be ready soon. Good, you have your youth and you can't waste it lying around in that bed of yours. Okay. Alright, I don't think it's unreasonable to sleep for eight hours a day. <laughs> That's true. That is extremely true. Bah, you better get used to early starts. Okay, I'll be downstairs when you're ready. I hear him shuffling away from the door, like, shuffle, shuffle. <laughs> When Grandpa called my parents months ago, I hardly expected to be mo- Oh! Moving in with him. Congrats, Toru. I guess? Eh, whatever. Apparently, my family comes from a lineage of priests. Like, Christian? Or, I don't know. My father was a priest, as my as was my grandfather, as was my gra grandfather- Okay, we, I think we know, we're generations dedicated to the understanding of the spirit world, like, yokai stuff, that, that's pretty cool. Of course, I don't believe in spirits or gods at all. Huh, that's your opinion, bruh. <laughs> My friends throughout school always saw me as being too serious. True, uh, that's how I see you. They always had dares about visiting haunted places or abandoned houses. And I was always one to go in and tell them there was nothing there. Okay. Oh well, even if I don't believe in spirits, it's a family tradition at this point. It may seem silly and pointless to do, but someone has to keep these old practices alive. So here I am now. I'm surprised that my parents were so willing to let me move so suddenly. <laughs> Maybe it's because they're worried about Grandpa. With me around, I can make sure that he stays safe. Gee, I wonder why. Anyway, I had better go downstairs. About time you turned up. Now then, Toru. It may seem some... Odd, you may seem some odd things. Seem? Seem. <laughs> this is kind of like Lost Pauses, um, video on, um, the embarrassing story. Oh, I gotta put that in the description. There's another world out there, believe it or not. So don't panic if something unusual happens. Okay. Alright, Grandpa, I promise not to panic. <laughs> Panicking. I think that's everybody's wish to not panic, but yet they panic. He starts talking like this all the uh, times. Spirits of omens of extraordinary things. I don't dare to tell him that I don't believe in any of it. He's getting pretty old and senility might be getting in. Settling in. From what I've seen in the trailer, I don't think senility is going to be in here. 
I'm completely serious, Taru. <laughs> That was loud. Everything in this world can't be explained. I used to be a real skeptic, but then I started seeing things. Trust me, you'll understand when it happens to you, too. I understand, Grandpa. I'm sure there's a lot more to the world than you think there is. Damn right there isn't. Now get some breakfast into you. Like, putting a sausage in you? Okay, that sounded... <laughs> Don't quote that. I'm going to show you around the temple ground soon. It's always such a rush with Grandpa around. I know that he's getting old, but you think that he would take a moment to relax. Oh well, it's his home, it's his rules. I don't... I don't to... I don't to cause a fuss over such things. Gee! Greatest grammar here! After a quick breakfast, Grandpa's straight out the door. <laughs> like, zoo! <laughs> Demonstration here. <laughs> Come on, Slowpoke. I thought you young people were supposed to be fast. It's alright not to rush, Grandpa. Can only imagine how he must have been when he was a young man. Always rush, rush, rush. I'm not the same. I like to take things at my own pace. Same here. The world waits for no one, Toro. No one? That should be one word, not no one, Toro. He takes in a deep breath. Nothing beats the crisp air on a summer's morning. I don't doubt that. I do not doubt that at all. Okay. Yeah, that's great grammar. Oh, wait. It is regular grammar. So, taking a walk isn't so bad. So, Grandpa, I know that it is a tr I know that it's a tradition for men in our family to become priests. That's right. Your father, me, my father. Generation after generation. Hmm. I know that, but there's just one thing I don't understand. Why was it so urgent for me to come here of all places? Don't worry. It will make all sense to you later. Okay. That's rather ominous, don't you think? Believe me. Believe me, this is one of those things which won't make sense until you see it for yourself. So just keep walking. We'll get there soon. I'm sure that a strong young man like you isn't about to be beaten by a relic like me. Right? It sounds like you're challenging me to a race. <laughs> Do you want to? Please, Grandpa. Your knees aren't what they used to be. The doctor said I was fine. Provided that you don't do any hard work or bend them too often. Maybe we should have you... Maybe we should have made you a doctor instead of a priest. Would that mean everyone may, after me would have to become a doctor too? Grandpa just shakes his head. We're almost there now. Should be just around the corner. Are you sure, Grandpa? Of course I am. No, I know this place like the back of my hand. Grandpa is infamous for always giving a vague idea of how close we are to somewhere. It's always just around the corner or just over the hill. Oh, looks like we're here. Take a good look. You're going to become very familiar with this place. Should have voice acted there, but whatever. Two massive wooden structures sit side by side just over the bridge. Grandpa beams proudly as he looks upon them. Oh, so it's a Shinto shrine. Okay. That makes more sense. But it has the Jap it has the Chinese structure of buildings. That's odd. Welcome to the temple grounds, Toru. Okay. <laughs> this place will become a second home to you over the next few months. Alright. Wait. I'm going to be attending both of these shrines? That's right. 
do not want to sound like I'm being lazy or anything, but isn't it unreasonable for me to be attending two shrines at once? Both of these are fairly large buildings, after all. Oh, come on. You aren't afraid of a bit of hard work, are you? No, but this is a lot of work for one person. Is there anyone else who comes by here? Any other priests who help attend these shrines? Nope. You're going to be the only priest here. Don't worry. You won't be alone. I won't be alone? You mean that people will come by regularly? Oh, you'll understand soon enough. A priest is never alone at a shrine. Trust me. Oh, should I trust the old man who is gone through senility? Now he's saying even more ominous things. Well, it would be nice to get some extra help with this. <laughs> I still have to attend school, you know. Don't worry, it'll work out just fine. Go on, have a look at them, and let me know what you think. I begin to walk across the bridge, only to notice that Grandpa isn't walking with me. Aren't you coming with me? I've already seen it myself. There's no need for me to look at something I already know like the back of my hand. Okay. Grandpa? Really, it'll be fine. You're a young man, right? You should be able to look after yourself. Well, I guess that I can get lost in these places. Don't worry. I'll be right here when you get back from the other side. Other side, he says. Well, I guess there's nothing else to be done. Wandering over to the buildings, I try to decide which one I should visit first. Both of these shrines have somehow an ageless quality about them. But if there is no one here, how are they so well preserved? There must be someone looking after them. Looking closer at the one to my right, it seems to l a little more run down. I think that if I'm going to be attending these shrines, then I should attend the one which needs the most attention first. Grandpa said there were no other priests here, and yet he said I wouldn't be alone. It's definitely that same super superstitious nonsense that he's been talking about ever since I got here. I can grammar. <laughs> he probably thinks that there are spirits or something in these shrines. These shrines are fairly well hidden for being in an urban area. And if I'm going to be spending a lot of time here by myself, I can only imagine that my mind will be play tricks on me. Oh well, it's no different to those dares that I used to do when I was younger. Every thought I was fearless. If there were a haunted house or an abandoned building, I'd be the only one who would explore it. I can understand that. I used to do that when I was a kid. I have yet to see a ghost or a spare or anything like that. All right. Confidently, I open the door. The rays of the early morning sun illuminate the dust drifting through the air. Great descriptions. Has been some time since anyone has been in here, it seems. No. If that had been the case, this dust would have settled a long time ago. Someone or something has been moving through these halls. It obviously can't be a spirit. How exactly would a ghost's unsettled dust? Probably just a visitor or something in that case. Now that they think about it, can't I hear someone moving through this place? Oh, ghosts! 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 I say ghosts or aliens. <laughs> Straining my ears, I swear that I hear the world wood creaking. Eh, I don't know how old this temple is. Wood creaks and groans all the time in old places like these. I'd better, see, I'd better see what other rooms there are in this place. If I'm going to attend this shrine, then I would be I would like it to be spotless. Hmm. One of the doors appears to be closed, and I hear creaking coming from within. This happens in this, those old houses I visited all the time. There was nothing there every time I checked. So let's open it wide. Oh! Ho! Oh! Is that? That's a Neko tail. That is a Neko tail. And that's a Neko ear right there. Is it a Neko? Yes! My life is complete. 
As I slide the door aside, I meet with a... I met with a most unusual sight. A woman is standing in front of me, wearing the garb of a shrine maiden. However, it's very loose around her shoulders. You don't say! <laughs> Woo! And I cannot help but notice some very prominent features sticking out. Oh, yeah. Those melons are nice. Approved. Her face shows no sign of embarrassment or any emotion at all. Oh, is this a tsundere? Then the tsundere machine gun goes baka 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 baka. <laughs> Those strange amber eyes of hers just stare deeply into mine. But there is something I, else I just noticed. Something which I'm not sure if I'm really seeing or not. Two pairs of black and white ears apart from her hair, moving just like a cat's ears would. And a black tail with white fur on the end sticks in the air. Sticks up in the air. She does not move to readjust her garb. The entirety of her attention is focused only on me. Hey, I think you should do something about... Do I really have to say it out loud? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. I was wondering when you would arrive. Oh. Her name's Unusual Girl. Her voice is strangely harmonic, like, oh. <laughs> Despite her youthful appearance, there is something venerable about her. But was she waiting for me? Is that so? Yes, it is. Well, I see. Could I please get an explanation? <laughs> What is there to explain? Surely you already know, don't you? Not exactly, no. She does not seem to be bothered by being seen like this. <laughs> Although I really am impressed with their... No. This really isn't a good time to be focusing on that. Oh, it's a perfect time to be focusing on, on that. Those... Mm, the best. The best. <laughs> Your eyes are wandering. I can sense deep uncertainty within you. You should not worry, however. I entrust myself to your care. Oh! Oh! My care? You are the one who will be attending this, sh this shrine, are you? Are you not? <laughs> Are you not? Her face draws closer to mine. There is something hauntingly beautiful about her, but I do not know what it could be. Well, that is true. I was not really expecting company, however. A priest is never alone in a shrine. She's telling me exactly what Grandpa did. Our fates are as one now, priest. I know it was a long journey to arrive here, so I am truly grateful. Right. Just excuse me for a moment. I need to get some fresh air. Alright, that's going to end up for today's episode, guys. Hope you enjoy. Like, subscribe, if you want to see those melons again. Next episode, I will for sure make sure you guys see them. So like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.